Lately, a number of creators, including myself, have taken to using a very clean and simple approach to their webcam frame. It includes rounded corners, a drop shadow, and really nothing else. You may have seen it around. It looks something like this. We were not going to put armpit dew in there. We were not going to put armpit dew in there, so I think it's okay. Look, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a very, very easy, predictable man. You can suck up to me, and it will probably work. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this effect for your content as well. Very quickly, though, if you ever have any additional questions about this sort of thing or just want to enjoy some content with me, you can find me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrDanDanDan. While there are multiple different ways to achieve this effect, for this video, we're going to focus on functionality that exists within OBS, which means it should work in OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, or any other software that is based on that platform. So here we are. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a new scene for our webcam. We're going to call it Webcam Curved. Now that we've got our scene set up, we just need to add our camera to it. So in OBS, you go to your video capture device, you select your camera if it's already existing, or you add a new one if you haven't set one up yet. And here we are, we're back. Now real quickly, I want to take a moment to explain what we're about to do. If in OBS you have ever added a filter to any of your components, you may have noticed that anywhere you use that component, the filter is applied. Let's look at a pretty common example. You've applied a chroma key filter to your webcam because you have a green screen behind you, and well, that's what you do. But there may not be times when you want to use your green screen, and so in that case, what do you do? Well, you can create a scene. You can chroma key that scene, put your camera source behind it, and then include that scene wherever you want to have your green screen effect. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's continue with our example. Right click on the scene we just created and select filters. On the filter screen, we're going to click the plus to add an image mask and blend filter. On this screen, we need to hit the browse button on the line that says path and navigate to an image that I will provide in the description below. Once you've added that image, you'll notice that part of our camera has disappeared. It's been cut out, and that's the purpose of the filter we just added based on the image that we selected. Before we move on to the next step, you can set up your camera however you want it within the visible space. So let's say I want to make myself larger and center myself in the frame. There we go. Done. The next thing we want to do is add a shadow to our frame, and to do that, we're going to create another scene. The scene we're creating, we'll call it Webcam Curved Shadow to match what we already have. Now, on this Webcam Curved Shadow scene, we can go ahead and add the scene we just created, our Webcam Curved scene, which should bring us back into view. And we also want to add an image source. Now, this image is going to be our shadow, so we can just name it shadow or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go and navigate to the same image that we used as our mask. One other thing I find helpful when setting up this sort of scene is to add a color source as your background, as it helps get the shadow lined up just right. So we're going to add a color source, just make it something pastel, and, uh, and hit OK. And then let's make sure everything is layered correctly the way we want it. Now before we start resizing things, let's go ahead and lock our webcam frame and our color source so the only thing that we're moving around in OBS is the shadow itself. And now we're ready to get our shadow lined up correctly. To do this, all you have to do is right click on your shadow, go to transform and click fit to screen. Now you'll notice possibly that there's a, a slight bit of the background image that's still visible. To fix this, all you have to do is go to transform again, this time edit transform and reduce the width just a tiny bit and you'll notice it's gone and our shadow looks pretty good. And from here on, we're just about done. Go ahead and remove the color source that we were using to help with the background. Go to where you'd like to use your new webcam frame, add a scene, and you're going to select the scene we just created. Uh, once it's here, you just resize it to where you like it, place it on the screen where you like it, and you're done. Enjoy your new clean look. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, consider hitting like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash MrDanDanDan.